Remember after that of any significance, what happened? What's next? Uh, what's next? Uh, I went to my car again. Yeah, don't, don't let me blow by blow details of everything. What, what, if anything significant, anything else happens? Oh, yeah. Then after that, uh, my, my mom, she comes home. All right. Do you know why your mom came home? Was that the time she was coming home? Did she say anything to you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, she was saying like, uh, like I don't know, like what you and Dominique got going on, Travis, but you know, uh, uh she told me that uh, uh, basically Travis got the wrong girl. So, um, and, and Mom told she was basically telling Travis that she told Dominique to just calm down and just you know, if you and Travis gonna be done, y'all y'all be done with it. Don't don't like that's basically it. What do you mean you got the wrong girl? Yeah. Um, what do you mean by that? <clears throat> yeah, basically like. Pretty much what she meant, the fact that we here all here right now, jury that we're in court right here, that's what she meant. She got the wrong girl. All right, so was your mom real nervous and concerned when she came home? Did she appear nervous and excited and worried? Yes, sir. Did, did, did your mom tell you anything about threats from Dominique? Sustained. Well, that that question is not so overruled at this point. Yes, yes, or, yes or no is the yes or no. proper answer. Can you repeat the question? question is, did your mom tell you anything about Dominique making threats to your brother, to her? Yes, sir. All right. And when your mom told you that, was she extremely emotional? Yes, sir. Crying? Yes, sir. And what did she say happened? Uh, sustained. All right. So did you calm your mother down a little bit, or did Travis try doing that? Yes, sir. Well, we, we both did. We basically, like I, I told mom, I said, Dominique, she's just blowing off steam. Uh, she don't really mean what she's saying. She just she's just talking because she's upset. Did you get a call from your sister Tyranny Coleman before your mom came home? Uh, yes, sir. And is it your phone, Travis's phone, or a different phone? Uh, there was a house phone. And was it on speakerphone? Yes, sir. And was she also talking to you guys about the things that may have happened with Dominique? Yes, sir. You know how she knew about that? Yes, sir. How? Oh. Uh, well. We just found out basically that Dominique, she text, text her saying, you know, uh, Tierney, like, you know, your brother got a wrong one. I'm going to send my brothers to come fuck him up and and, 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 and basically come, like, just shoot him up, basically. Did Tierney ever tell you she also had conversations with Dominique? Yes, sir. Same type of conversations? That's correct. And did you all tell her that you think nothing's going to happen? This girl was just acting crazy and acting that's, in that's right. ways? Yes, sir. That was the breakup, basically? That's correct. That's what y'all thought, right? Correct. You and your brother? Yes, sir. And that's not what happened? No, nah, not at all. When your mom comes home, where, where's Travis, do you know? Uh, Travis, he's in his bedroom. And what's he doing, do you know? Uh, he was getting ready to go to bed, and then he was having a conversation with, with, with me and mom at the time. So all, all three of you were in Travis's room? That's correct. And was he in the bed at this point? Yes, sir. Travis goes to sleep. Obviously, he's not wearing shoes, right? Correct. Sustained. Is he wearing shoes? No, sir. Wearing a shirt? No, sir. Does he normally sleep without a shirt? Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> so, are you talking with your mom and you and Travis for a long time, or is it a couple of minutes? How would you characterize it? I characterize it for about 15 minutes. All right. Did something happen to interrupt the conversation? Yes, sir. Tell us what happened, please. Uh, so, Jerry, I, I heard this loud bang on my door. It sounded like it was the, the, the police. Uh, so, you ever had that kind of noise at your house before? No, sir. Very, very unusual. What time of day would, would you estimate it was? Uh, Jerry, this is around midnight, like 12 o'clock. Okay. What do you actually hear? Uh, can I demonstrate? Just don't break anything. I got you. That's just that's kind of how that, that bang was. Startle you? Uh, yeah, it startled. Sounds sound like 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 it was a police or something. All right. Did you even think bef before you did anything? No, nah, I wish I did. Um, what'd you do? Not even looking at the cameras. I just ran to the door. In hindsight, that was pretty dumb, right? Yeah, yeah. That was a very dumb decision. All right. So what what happened when you ran to the door? So what happened was, when I came outside, I saw strangers that I don't even know, and they kept asking for Travis. It was like, where Travis at? Where Travis at? Well, describe who you saw and what you saw. Uh, I saw, seemed, seemed like a, it was a bunch of bunch of strange guys that I never saw before in my life. Right. 
you, you've met Keyshawn Jones before, haven't you? Correct. How many times do you know? Oh, uh, once. Is that at an event? Yes, sir. What kind of event? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was my sister's reception. But other than that, you didn't know who he was? Uh, no, sir, because he, he had his hoodie on at the time, so. You didn't recognize him? Didn't recognize him. And the other the other people, were they boys or were they men? Uh, all of them was grown men. And how would you feel when you were out there while they were asking for your brother? You know, I, I felt threatened. Why didn't you just turn around and go inside? Uh, couldn't because I felt, I felt afraid and fearful for my life because they kept cussing me out. Uh, telling me, uh, go get Travis, go get your bitch ass brother. He fucked with the wrong girl. So I felt very afraid, very, you know, like, like, like these guys, they, they trying to come over and do something serious. Did you, did you see anyone with any guns at that point? No, sir. Notice anybody's pockets? No, sir. And are you trained to fight? No, sir. All right. So you're outside. They're saying these things to you. You feel obviously intimidated. What happens next? Uh, so what happened next is my brother, he, he comes outside. How much longer would you estimate? I know you're uh, time. Just a rough estimate. Yeah, probably maybe eight seconds. All right. You, did you see the video of them knocking on the door and asking for your brother? Yes, sir. I saw that one. How much after that video ends do you think Travis came out? Mm, about probably maybe eight seconds. It's an estimate, right? Yeah, ju just an estimate. Okay. So he comes out. Is he, is he wearing a – what's he wearing? Oh, uh, just, just his pants. Okay, what happens next? So next, uh, so as soon as he comes out, you know, uh, Keyshawn cussing Travis out, saying, bro, like, why, why you touching my sister? Hold on a second. Did you know his name at the time, or you know the name now? Because uh, now, now, I know his name now, because now I know who he is now. What do you remember him wearing? Uh, he, he had his hoodie on. You remember if it was warm or cold that night? Any, any uh, it, it was cold. Cold, like how cold, if you remember? Like, Florida gets maybe the coldest, I'd say, probably maybe 50 degrees. So I'd say it's probably around maybe in the 60s. Okay. This is yeah. Me. That's correct. So he's got the hoodie on. Did that intimidate you at all? Yes, sir. Okay. Because, I mean, you see a strange person that was solved before in your life with a with a hoodie on, somebody you, you never seen, you would think, okay, like, like they, they trying to come, come over to, to kill you. You know, they, 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 you know, antagonize you, making threats. So I'm like, okay, like. They started to put two and two together? Right, so I put two and two together that, that, that this girl's threats became real, basically. You never believed that would happen? Never. Sustained. Did you believe that was going to happen? Uh, uh, no, sir, I didn't believe it. <clears throat> Travis comes out. Tell us all, please, what happened when he comes outside the house. So after uh, Keyshawn was cussing out, like cussing Travis out basically. And uh, Travis was trying to basically get, trying to get, get Keyshawn to calm down. Uh, next thing you know. Travis comes out of the home. Mm -hmm. Any weapons? No, sir. Brother have weapons? Yes, sir. What does he have, do you know? Yeah, he, he has a AR-15 and he also have, have a semi-autic uh, handgun. You know the brand of the gun that he had that you think's an AR-15? Uh, no, sir. You know anything about those kind of guns? No, sir. Did your brother, to your knowledge, did, did you ever see him go to the range and get trained on how to use the weapons? Yes, sir. Did you get a concealed weapons permit? Yes, sir. Did you buy these guns right after your dad passed? Yes, sir. And your mom knew about them? Yes, sir. She was okay with that? Yes, sir. And do you know if your brother normally carries a gun if he goes out with some of his friends who may be in the NFL? Can you ever repeat that question? any type of gun when he goes out um, of the house, especially if he's with his friends who are in the NFL. Oh, yes, sir. And some of his friends, like stars in the NFL. That's correct. So <clears throat> he comes out without a weapon, right? Right. He said he's arguing back and forth with Keyshawn. Yes, sir. What's Keyshawn doing the argument? Uh, basically cussing him out, saying like, 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 bro, fuck nigga, why you like put your hands on my sister? Getting hostile. Yes, sir. Nervous at this point? Yes, sir. You feel like you could leave and go in the house? No, sir. What happens after that? So after that, you know, like, like I said, when, when Trevor was trying to calm Keyshawn down, uh, this, this, this other guy, I know his name now, Tyler Robinson, he comes out of nowhere and he sucks, sucker punches my brother on the side of his eye.
How hard did he punch him? Like, like very hard. Like he was trying to like knock his eyes out. And what happened after he sucker punches your brother? Then soon after he gets through sucker punching my brother, next thing you know, uh, Tyler and uh, Travis they they go off to the side, and then uh, uh, next thing you know, uh, the, the guys that came with Tyler and Keyshawn, all of them, all of them at the, at the same time, start jumping Travis. And was the first sign of violence or anybody using violence was that Tyler Robinson? Yes, sir. And all, how many men were there? Do you remember? Uh, at, at that time, it seemed it seemed like a lot because I wasn't really keeping count. I mean, I was I was such in fear, and you know, Jerry, I was so like afraid, and I was such in fear, I, I couldn't really count. You know, like how many guys was, was actually there? Now you I was just yeah. Now I know. Okay. But at the time, you weren't sure. That's correct. So all four, or all whatever the amount was, all of them jumped on top of your brother. Yes, sir. What happened? There? You know, they was fiercely assaulting Travis, and then, you know... What were they doing to him? Uh, basically, uh, punching him, uh, trying to kill him, basically. They were trying to kill him. You felt his life was in danger? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, I try to, you know, jump in to try to get these guys off of my brother. Then, now I'm being fiercely assaulted as well. And, and the whole time I'm trying to defuse the situation between, you know, Travis and Dominique, but now I'm being fiercely assaulted. Like, they didn't care. They, they just... They came over to kill. When you're physically assaulted, do you feel like you were about to possibly die? Yes, sir. But what were they doing to you? There was a uh, punching, kicking, you know, uh, there was uh, screaming, yelling, saying, we on demon time, and, you know, uh, y'all niggas going to die today. You know, uh, you, your brother, you fuck with the wrong girl. What's demon time? You ever hear that? Uh, yeah, I heard it plenty of times. Uh, it's like a new generation sing, I guess, like you in a state of mind where you just don't care. This was no joke. No joke at all. It wasn't a little scuffle. That's correct. And was it a little scuffle or was it a real serious thing? It was very, very serious. It was like it was a, a matter a matter of life and death at, at that particular time. Loud as well? Yes, sir. Your mom during this time period? Uh, during, uh, tell me during the time we was fighting or during the time we was at the door stuff. Did you ever see your mom while you were outside? Uh, yes, sir, during the time when we was fighting. And when she came out or, or no? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, she came out. Yeah, she came out like uh, when when we was in like a big a big a big brawl. Uh, she was screaming, saying, "You know, stop! You know, stop! Uh, y'all 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 need to go home. I got cameras." Um, you know, Dominique, she was an aggressor. You trying to tell that to these men? Yes, sir. Your mom tried to show them anything. Uh, at that time, I was trying to basically get these guys off of my brother and get them off of me as well. So I didn't really, I couldn't really even pay attention to what she was trying to show them. Anybody paying attention to your mom? No, sir. So did the lack of better word fight or attack, did that go anywhere from different places or did it stay by the front of the house? Uh, oh, now we went different places. And we and we know from the videos, this is about eight, 10 minutes long. How right. long did it feel like to you? To me, it felt like, jury, to me, it felt like we was there for hours. I mean, you know, like when you in a, in a, you know, like a very hard situation like that, it, it'll feel like you, you're there for hours, you know. Where else did the yeah. fight or this attack uh, happen? It, it, went, it went in the front of the yard, went to the, to the side of the yard. Why, why was it going different places? What were you doing? Well, you know, when, when you're being jumped, you're trying to, trying to spread out, trying to like, you, you can't just stay in one spot because you gotta, you gotta create distance. You can't just sit there and just, just keep getting pounded and punched and kicked. Especially when these guys saying that, you know, you and your brother going to die and basically we're going to kill y'all. Never one-on-one -on -one against you? No, sir. Always more than one person? Yeah, they, they kept switching up. Like, they never really gave me and my brother a, a fair fight. Like, like it, 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 sometimes, no, let me repeat that. Sometimes it would be like maybe, like, like, like in the yard it was more like a, they kept switching up. But then, then like, one particular time we had got to the street and it was like a one-on-one -on -one for like six six seven seconds and then and then it'll be somebody else that'll come and hit you and try to basically like try to bruise you up basically when they're hitting you are they trying to knock you out yes sir they're trying to like like literally knock us unconscious Did you, so you're trying to create distance explain to us to the best your memory where you went um we went to you, not where you where'd you go oh i go i go to uh, like around like sable pond 
before you get the sable palm, did you ever see anybody with any firearms? Yes, sir. Where, where did that happen? Uh, did that happen on the side of my house, on, on the grass area by the garage. So after the attack at the front door? Yes, sir. Tell us that. Tell us what happened there at the best you remember. So, so jury, so I'm literally like on the ground being pounded and officially assaulted by these strange guys that I don't even know. And I see this firearm from, from Tyler. And, and if he's watching this, he knows that he did it. I see this firearm from, from Tyler Robinson. He points his gun, his gun at my head saying, you know, like, like, like you, you're going to die today. You're going to die today. Yeah. No, sir. Any idea why he didn't shoot? I can't, I can't testify on Tyler's behalf. Let me ask you the uh, cameras that are in your house on the outside. You know if they light up at all, any kind of colors, to sh so that would show me if I was a stranger and I come to your house, would I be able to see the cameras are working? Yes, sir. You can see them if they were working. How would I see that? What would I see? Uh, like if, if you walk up, you will see, you will see, uh, you see the doorbell. You see like a camera in the front by the door. Right, but how would I know? Is there a way I would know your cameras are on? Does, do they change colors or is there? Oh, like is there is there a way that you know if they're on? Me, if I'm a stranger and I walk to your house and I'm not not the ring camera, but the other. Mm -hmm. camera. They change oh. colors or they light up or do something? Nah, no, sir. They don't do nothing. All right. Did you ever check that? Uh, No, sir. I never checked it. I mean, I just assume that, like, they'll always be on. Right. But I'm saying if a stranger came, do you, if you know, do you know if they see a colored light around your camera on the outside of it? No, sir. I don't know. Are those motion-activated cameras to the best of your knowledge? Uh, y yes, sir. Not the ring. I'm talking about the other system. The motion? Yes, sir. Okay. So you're on the side of the house. Correct. What this man that you said is Tyler, what he was wearing, do you remember? Uh, he had his shirt off. When you first came out of the house, did he have his shirt on or shirt off? Oh, uh, he had his shirt off when I first came out. Did that mean anything to you? Yes, sir. Did you take that? I from? mean, Jerry, it's unusual for somebody to come to your house with his shirt off at 12 o'clock at night. So I took it as a sign of, you know, of somebody threatening, like, like, you, like you, you're like, you mean business. I mean, because we, we don't have a, have a, a swimming pool at night, so we don't have a swimming pool at all. So I know he wanted to come there, you know, to try to swim in the pool. He came over to the fight. He had a shirt off, so that's how I took. I took it as a sign, like you, like like you trying to fight. You didn't invite these guys over. Nah, no sir. All right. So did you tell what kind of gun it was when he pointed it at you? Uh, it looked like a semi-automatic. You know about guns? Uh, no sir. You know the difference between a semi-automatic and a revolver, or no? Uh, no, sir. I mean, I was I, honestly when, when I saw that gun jury, I thought like my life was over. Then I thought like like that was gonna be like my last day on earth. So I wasn't really really paying attention to to like the type of name brand he, uh, of the gun he had. So you, you you go from from the side of your house. Where do you go next after the, after the guns pointed? So so after the gun pointed, uh, we started uh, breaking off into groups. All right. <clears throat> And there's no way you can tell me moment to moment where you were and what happened, is there? Correct. Did you eventually wind up by Sable Palm? Yes, sir. How'd that happen? Uh, that happened because, you know, I'm trying to create distance from being being beaten and, and fiercely assaulted, you know, by these uh, grown men. Did you ever see where their car was when the first when you first came out of the house? Can you uh, repeat the question? How they got to your home is my question, basically. No, sir. No, sir. Well, if they walked there, they got dropped off by a cab, or, or, or they parked somewhere far from the house. You don't know. Don't know at all. When is the first time you noticed their car? Uh, the first time I noticed their car was um, like you, like, like, how can I, how can I describe it? I, I actually noticed it because um, it, it, it turned on. And I saw. Uh, okay. So before that car turns on, are you down in Sable Palm? Yes, sir. Where on Sable Palm are you? Are you on your side where your house is? Kind of more like, like more towards the car. All right. That time you didn't know whose car it was. Right. Okay. And how far would you estimate you are from the car? Uh, I'll say 10 feet, about 10 feet. All right. So if I'm the car and I'm facing you, you're about 10 feet away from me if I'm the car? Uh, I'm not saying now. I'm saying your estimate's 10 feet? Yeah, 10 feet. All right. Are you directly in front of the, if this is the car right here and the headlights are facing you, are you in front of the car or the side of the car? Or more like in front of the car. In the center or off to one side or hard to remember? Uh, like on the, on the side, like, like, like front side, like. All right. Well, let, let's say these are the headlights. Are you closer to the passenger side, driver's side, in the middle? 
like closer to the driver's side. <clears throat> At that point, you, you, you didn't notice anything about the car, right? That's correct. So what happened to you while you're you're near this car? You know, I'm, I'm being uh, officially assaulted, beat up, brutally by, who? Uh, by all of them, Sebastian, uh, Chris Lowe. It was, it was at one point that me and Sebastian was in, in a in a fight, and then um. Mm. Well, actually, let me phrase that. It was at first. It was uh, it, it was it was at one point where where it was like a little subsidy inside the fight. Then um, I, I remember I had grabbed Keyshawn from trying to keep going back at Travis, and then that's when uh Sebastian he came and su sucker punched me, and now I'm trying to you know trying to now I'm being brutally you know assaulted by Sebastian, and then within like five six seconds uh Chris Lowe he comes out of nowhere. Where are you he, when, when this happens when you're being attacked by mm -hmm. Sebastian and Chris Lowe comes out? Where? Uh, are you? Well, this is before I'm like ten feet away away from the car. So it'll be like why more, you're, more, more. Hold on, I'm confused. Is this happening while you're near the car or a different place? Uh, dip, more like, like a loop, like between the car and between my house, kind of. Okay, so yeah. how far would you estimate you were from the car when you were being attacked by Sebastian? Uh, I would say uh, I couldn't, couldn't really calculate it because I was in a fight for my life. Of course. So... I mean, roughly, See, roughly, I, I say by maybe 30, 30 feet. So how'd you wind up getting closer to the Cadillac? So I wound up getting closer because after, um, after, uh, I got uh sucker punched by Sebastian and being uh, brutally assaulted by him, well, you know, I get one-on-one -on -one at this point. Yeah. For like five seconds. Okay, what happens next? Uh, then, then what happens next is, uh, I get a uh, sucker punch by, uh, Chris Lowe. Hey, sucker punch. Yeah, like bitch, like where they where they, they catch you off guard. They was doing it the whole time during the fight. You catch you. I'm asking specifically, what did Chris Lowe do to you when you say soccer? Punch? Oh, oh, he like he basically punched jury. He punched me on the side of my face. What side? And like uh, my left side. Right. And yeah. where did Chris Lowe soccer punch you before that? Before that, like 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 you to my. You said he soccer punched you. Where? Yeah. Where, like, where, where, like like where like, your like body? On, 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 side, on side of my face. So are you fighting with both men at this time? Yes, sir. Both of them. Right before the shooting or is this way before the shooting? This was uh, like way, uh, way before the shooting took place. Are you, you're down, you're down by Sable or 30 feet from the car? That's correct. And two guys are fighting with you? Yes, sir. Where's Travis? Uh, I lost sight of him at the time. Did you notice where your mom was? Uh, no, sir. Do you know how that fight between you and the two men stopped? Uh, or why it stopped? Like, why, why did it stop? During that time, I, I wasn't really uh, thinking like, I was just being like fiercely assaulted. Like I'm literally about to die. Right. Thinking like, you know, these guys, they're trying to like brutally, basically brutally kill me, basically. Right, the but way did, they was. did they get away from you and stop attacking you? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. At one point they did. You know why that happened? Uh, because I saw my brother, he ran towards me. And how far would you say you were from the car at the point the two men stopped fighting with you or attacking you? About 10 feet, 10 feet away from the car. Did you even notice the car at that point or not really? Uh, I, I actually noticed because they, they, they was going to the car. All right. So I know it's a tough question. This happened real quick, but Travis was running towards you or walking to you? Oh, like literally like running towards me. Did, did you notice he had a firearm with him? Yes, sir. show you state's exhibit number three is this the firearm that's correct no sir you didn't hear the gun go off at all no sir when travis ran towards you when did you notice him when he got to you or before he got to you uh i, I noticed him like 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 five seconds before you got to me. Is that an estimate or is that a real gun? That's like an estimate. When when did the two guys, did they simultaneously, meaning at the same time, did they both stop fighting with you at the same time or did one stop and then the other one stop a few seconds yeah. later? How did that it was like It was like one stop and then and then, then the other one stopped. How long did you estimate that took? Uh, it happened such in a 
flash, I really want to count. I was just, I was just, you know, ha happy that my brother was able to get to me in time. Right. As he was running towards you, did you see him shooting the gun? No, sir. Here the gun go off. No, sir. Here I'm saying anything. I'm gonna shoot these guys. Uh, no, sir. So, when, uh, was it almost at the same time they got off you? At the same time your brother got to you? Yes, sir. All right. So. <clears throat> Why didn't you guys just go home at that point? Oh, I was so froze to the point I was like, oh, we couldn't go home because we literally like just had two firearms pointed at us in like a split, like a split, like a, like a split fraction of a second. Let me let me slow you down. So from the time that the brother gets to you and the two guys, mm -hmm. they're going to the car. They're already in the car. You don't even know if they're in the car, do you? Uh, this thing, do you know? Uh, no, sir. All right. Can you tell the jury how many people got in the car, who didn't get in the car? Yeah, so the jury, it was like, i say two of them got inside the car, just the ones I saw. Uh, the ones that was uh, attacking me, like two of them actually uh, got inside the car. Did your brother start shooting when he got right up to you? Uh, no, sir. Not, not when he got right up to me. Did something happen very quickly? Yes, sir. When came to you? Yes, sir. Is that why you guys didn't go home? Yes, sir. Stained. All right, so after the, after the two guys left you, why didn't you just immediately run home at that point? Uh, couldn't run home, jury, because like 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 soon 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 as my brother got to me, as soon as the uh, the other guys got to the car, I saw two firearms pointed at, at me and my brother. Explain that to us. Who wh where did you see this? Uh, I saw this. I saw the uh, uh, Sebastian. He was in the passenger seat, and then I saw Tyler Robinson. He was on the, uh, he was like, he was like by, by the back passenger's door with the, with the two firearms pointing at, pointing at me and my brother. So each one of them had one firearm? Yes, sir. Each one. And Sebastian, he was in the front passenger seat? Yes, sir. You were able to see it was him? Yes, sir. And where was he pointing the gun? Uh, he, he was pointing like, like, like at the windshield. And where were you? Uh, like literally uh, standing next to my brother. And in reference to the gun pointed at the windshield, where were you? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sebastian's pointing the gun, you said, at the windshield, right? Correct. Well, if I'm Sebastian pointing the gun at you, where would you be? What's your view? Uh, Directly in front of Sebastian, you're to the side, or where are you? Like to the side of Sebastian. How much? Just a rough estimate, how much to the side? Uh, so if I'm like on the driver's side, I'll say... Uh, <laughs> I'll say about, about maybe about five, five, five feet now, five. All right, so let, let, let's hypothetically, I, I'm Sebastian. Mm, right. I have a gun pointed at the windshield. Right. You'd be to my left, to my right, in front of me. All right, so this is my right side, so I'll be my to right your side. left. I'm Sebastian pointing a gun. This is my right side, okay. to my left. What side are you on with me? So I'll be on the right side. My right side. Wait, no, I'll be on. Point the gun. So if if if, All right, no, so if okay if you if you're Sebastian pointing the gun, then uh, I'll be to your left. Like no no, wait yeah to your uh -huh. right side, right side right side. Okay. Yeah. Pointing this way, I'm, you're confusing me. Yeah yeah yeah, I got confused. Sorry about that. Hey, hey may he step down, Judge? Sure. Why don't you step, Mr. Rudolph? <laughs> Sitting down in the driver's seat, I mean, in the passenger seat, Sebastian? Yes, sir. All right, so if I'm sitting here, right, am I holding it down like this? Am I holding the middle, higher? You tell me. Uh, you, 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 like, you're holding it like this, like, I sit like in the middle. Middle of the, of the windshield? That's correct. Show us where exactly you were. I was like, show me a map. the right side, it's the right side, like, maybe like, like 10 feet. Your right side? Yes, sir. Okay. And you think you're about So there'll be my right side, and then there'll be your left side. So would you be there or would you be more into the jury box? Uh, like more to the jury. All right. So you tell me if I'm Sebastian, how far do I move over? Uh, you, you can uh, like stop right where you're at, like go further a little back. Like, right. 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 Yes, sir. And the gun is this way. Is it pointed at you? Yes, sir. This will happen in a split second? Split second. You need to get to sit down. Thanks. I'll just take that. 